return to players at out or how do we get them back into the game? Well, there's a return to play protocol for players. Um, in the GAA guidelines, if you're a child between 5 and 12, you have to have two weeks of absolute complete rest uh, before you actually even engage with the return to play protocols. From 13 up then, it's a six step process. So the first step is really about rest and recovery, uh, where, where there's absolutely, the, 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 the player has absolutely no symptoms whatsoever and shouldn't be on any medications for, for any symptoms. So that's 24 hours later then you're into step two. And step two is really just gentle exercise, walking, just to increase the heart rate, make sure everything's okay. So 24 hours later then you can move to step three, which is kind of sports related activity, a little bit of jogging, a little bit of head movement, stuff like that. Step four then is where you get into the sports specific uh, activities. So for GA it would be, uh, you know, catching, uh, passing, running, you know, quick movements to see what the tolerance would be like. And if that goes well, then you can move to step five. Now, step five is a significant step because it is contact. All the other steps, there's no contact at all. It's all just activity. So you're into practice with contact, and for that, you have to have medical clearance. Um, so once you have medical clearance, you, you move into step five, which is contact practice. And then if that works well and there's no symptoms, you can move into competitive play, which is step six. Now, if there's any issues with those steps along the way, you have to rest for 24 hours and go back to the previous step. And so you work your way up towards a return to play.